What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Many of us know about the shooting with the Donald Trump attempted assassination. We all have heard of that. And of course, um, it was televised right there on TV. It appears that Trump was, something was shot in the back and it ricocheted and then the glass hit his ear. And there was another man trying to protect uh, someone from getting shot and ended up dying himself. And this man, unfortunately, was Corey Comparatore. Corey Comparatore. He was a, she was shielding his family from the gunfire. I want to pay my respects to that father. However, there are some people in you know obviously conspiracy theories are always big in the community in the black community is negroes love a conspiracy theory and so we have one from this lady amanda seals instead of amanda seals showing some level of um concern uh for the life that was lost instead of her showing maturity amanda seals decided to not do that Amanda Seals decided to do this. That shit was more staged than a Tyler Perry production of Medea Runs for President. I lived in Harlem long enough to know that gunshots do not sound like making popcorn on the stove. Where'd the blood come from? So in theater, in movies, they have what's called blood pellets. You, they even, you know, a lot of people use them in Halloween. It's basically a, a pellet of fake blood that's in your mouth. And when you crush it, the blood comes out. Um, to be frank, Small Hands Trump would not respond by raising his fist in the air triumphantly were an actual attempt made on his life. This was, I believe, done to try to show his strength counter to Biden's fragility. But um bum oh my god. Molly, you in danger girl. DJ Academics took what she said very seriously and dealt with her accordingly. Now we will try to bleep out a lot of the curse words here. But let us hear what DJ Academics had to say. I got 50 guns. I've heard every single gunshot from a 22, a 308, a 357, a 50 cal. I've heard a 223, 556, 9 millimeter, 40 cal, 40. I've heard it all. They all sound different and also distant matters. This is why a like you should shut the f up. Talking about a stage. This is why, like, some of y'all are so glued into whatever political view y'all have y'all dismiss reality wake up there's a whole investigation by the fbi outside in butler drive over there and go see if they're investigating state shit. i lived in harlem long you lived in harlem i got all the guns that they shooting you just sound like a who's running her mouth for no reason this is half of America. Oh, it's staged. You think people want to convince you? What the f is this even talking about? I hate people who are so stuck in their ways. My, and by the way, I, I want to be very clear. If this happened to Biden, I'll be reacting the same way. Bro, democracy is bigger than Trump and Biden. These days, people are so aligned to a party or a side that they only expound thoughts that align with them. So, for example, these days, people are so stupid that if they believe, put it like this, if they like Trump, anything Biden does is going to be fake. That's good. If they like Biden, anything that Trump does is going to be good. You're an idiot if you feel like that. Her speaking like this, and I'm one of the people who would never say women don't deserve to vote, and I still won't say it. <laughs> but when you hear this type of shit, how many guns you shot? Because I done shot a whole lot of them, and I know how they sound, and trust and believe. When I heard that, I knew that was a gunshot. What you talking about? You, you know how a gunshot. From Harlem, 
You hearing broke shooting high points. You talking about? You hearing bro shoot high points. The f you know about gunshots. Long enough to know that gunshots do not sound like. You broke. You don't know what gunshots really sound like. got a gun that costs nine thousand that you won't even hear and i don't have a suppressor because that would i would have to register with atf you don't know what gunshots sound like shut up what you talking about making popcorn on the stove it's, it's stupid bro i'm sorry stupid blood come from so in theater in movies they have what's called blood pellets you they even you know yo this is how, this is why people like, you know, how stupid could you be? So first of all, um, I, you know, when it comes to Amanda Seals, it is quite often that whenever she speaks about almost any uh, subject and for a lady to be this old, it is always immature. Even the way she recently came at Tiffany Haddish, which I'm not a big fan of, but you know, she's ultimately so immature and heartless and doesn't have any compassion for others right this is typically amanda sales now amanda sales is extreme a liberal extreme feminist and she's isolated herself from even black hollywood like nobody likes amanda seals not even in the feminist community she's unlikable and there is the problem with people like amanda seals in black america i'm not even going to get into liberal democrats black democrats uh, this is a personal thing for me and a lot of unfortunately uh men in the black community come across uh, people like amanda seals and what do you say about someone like her i can give you my assessment i believe amanda seals if i was a betting man i can't prove this has some kind of undiagnosed mental illness she's not alone a lot of people in america have an undiagnosed mental illness it is also prevalent in our community here is what i want to tell men because when i first started uh, on you know in this career you know i was heavily critical of people like this and you know wasting a lot of my time even debating some of these people I, I didn't really ever do too much debating of women or going back and forth with women for the most part but um I, I would try to to try to prove them wrong in their thinking and then it just came to a point where I realized oh this person has a problem this person has a real problem that most likely can only be solved by medical attention and and the reason why I can say it is because she don't just have a problem with Trump or a problem with men or a problem with the right or the left. And Amanda Seals has a problem everywhere she goes. She has a problem, even with her own so-called friends like Tiffany Haddish. So when you notice people like that, you, you should not even waste any time with them. And as the older as I get, the more I don't. As black men, we spend a lot of time, a lot, putting in effort, dealing with people who are not worth dealing with at all. I don't know why they there. I don't know why we feel like they need to be there. I don't get it. And I'm gonna tell you something else. I'm not trying to get it at all. I don't want to. I want to be away from them. And this is how men in the community, when you see people like this, I don't care if they men or women, you just need to get far away from them as possible. You know, academics is cussing around and calling, I mean, you know, the thing is with that, you go so hard on them, they wanna blame you. And for what she's saying, yeah, I can understand why he's upset. Just don't even waste your time. That person's not even worth talking to. And once you can just do that, your life becomes so much better when you leave people who are sick alone. Don't even give them no attention. Just be over there like the old folks. You see him over there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't say nothing. No, just look at him. That's how the old folks do. The old folks, you should know folk crazy. Go ahead, look. You see him? You see, I see him over there. Look at him. Just look at him. Just look at him. Don't say nothing. Just look at him. Don't say nothing. Just look at her. And once we start to do stuff like that, God bless you. <laughs> I'm telling you, because my life now, in comparison to what it was four or five years ago, I could I could sit to, with next to somebody for five minutes. I'm like, oh yeah, this person don't know what the hell they talking about. Let me get let me get up out of here. <laughs> let me raise up out of here. I was having a conversation with one person, for an example, and um, this person's a known a liar. Okay, it's a few years back, and the person that did something in which I had the visible proof of. The person was sitting there. Oh, I didn't do that. What are you talking about? 
and this happened to me a few times in my life but it was a it was you know i had visible visible proof and it's something that i knew and i'm trying to tell the person that i got proof it's the same thing like you know what the you see in these law enforcement things and it just came to a point where i'm like you know what what am i doing here <laughs> i said listen man okay we, we talk about this later I never called that nigga girl ever again. No. I waste my time. And that person was such a problem. Um, you know, just around into my life. And then once, once I started stop just dealing with people who had no sense, man, my, I had a less stressful life. I just didn't have any problems anymore as much. You know, just 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 man, you got a good great life, man. People are crazy out here. And especially, uh, you know, you have women. That, that, that have those issues and when you can realize it and I'm going to tell you just like nothing I'm going to say when you dating somebody and the first time you ask them why you single they start talking about it's all the other guys fault he did this he did that boy you better boy you better get up out of there no accountability you better get out of there while the blood is running warm in your veins as the old folk used to say you better get your stuff and get the hell up out of there because they're letting you know if you deal with them they're going to destroy everything and amanda seals is a hater something is wrong with her whatever she touched turns to trash and anybody who follow her gonna have an issue because something wrong with them too so guys what do you think it's your boy o'shea dude jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk Produce your father you do serve the bell we're out